Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be showing you how to get benzene, propylene, and of course, ethylene. Somebody requested this, so we're going to put this one out. Uh, first, we're obviously going to need a lot of crude oil, so if you haven't done that part, so go check out the other videos on how to make all these machines. We're going through the process of making these, not the construction of the machines. We have tons of tutorials on those themselves. So all we want to do is uh, send our crude oil out of this tank into our distillation tower uh, we can see it's up looking like this one we're going to turn this thing on uh, one of its side effects is bitumen so when you're processing crude oil you get that but our crude oil is being processed right now down into uh, kerosene naphtha which is important for this process uh, sulfurized diesel and then lubricant those are the four things that come out of the crude oil now we can get some other stuff from these obviously but uh, those are the ones we're looking for. Highly suggest using uh, liquid fl uh, filters, fluid filters, and don't make my mistake, put these on both sides. So if you have an empty tank here and you turn one of these on, it's going to empty it in there instead of sending it to your distillation tower. So don't make my mistake. Also, I did a little bit of an upgrade here. Uh, we, instead of having the levers in here, we used redstone to do that, but... Uh, once you do have a good amount of kerosene and naphtha going, and I'll show you in just a second why kerosene is important. These two are just side effects. We don't really need those right now unless you're using it for something else. So while your crude oil is being broken down, you're going to need a second distillation tower. And I would honestly suggest making a third so you don't have to do what I'm about to do. So we're going to send all of our kerosene out of this tank directly into here. Now... This breaks down the kerosene into more naphtha, more sulfurized diesel, and I think maybe lubricant. I'm not sure about that one, but, but definitely uh, more naphtha because we're going to need a lot of this in order to make ethylene. Now, uh, we can let this run for a little bit just to get a little bit more naphtha, but I think we're good. Let's shut this thing off. Let this start breaking that down. Now, uh, we need to come over to our high pressure uh, reaction chamber or whatever it's called here. I've got a video on that too. We're going to need to send water into this machine and you might have guessed it, naphtha. So we're going to turn this lever on. It's going to send all this stuff in here. Oh, we got our flare stack running down here just to get rid of some of the stuff we didn't want in the in the lines. But uh, this is going to fill up with naphtha and it mix it with water. That's going to break that down into cracked naphtha. This is one of your key things that you need to make propylene, uh, uh, benzene, and uh, ethylene. So once you got a good little store of this, uh, let's say, okay, this isn't done yet, but let's just, let's just break the machine. There we go. That's why I said we need a third one of these. Uh, so you can make the kerosene into ethylene or into cracked naphtha at the simultaneously as you are, uh, producing your, your byproducts. So now that this thing is empty, we're going to break that and we're going to put this down there and connect that into our high pressure thing it's emptying out our cracked naphtha it is going to break this down into its three byproducts so uh i highly suggest just running this machine into a third distillation tower i know that's expensive but i'm doing it the cheap way i guess you can just break the line every time but if you want this to run constantly i would say build your third one these are breaking down and then oh we got a little bit of build up because we can't send three fluids through it at once but um next you can see we're still producing all that other stuff. We got some gasoline additives from a different video. Don't ignore the. Yeah. Anyways, propylene is the byproduct of breaking down cracked naphtha. Same thing with benzene. And finally, we have our ethylene, which produces, looks like, quite a bit more than the other. So that's how you make your ethylene. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, we'll leave links to discords down in our most recent videos so check that out and you can ask questions and figure some things out